This is the Iowa Weather Report for Wednesday, July the 9th, 2014. And now our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run. This is at 1 p.m. this afternoon. We have a trough over the Great Lakes moving into New England, bringing a northwesterly flow out of Canada. This is going to keep temperatures cool across the state and plenty of sunshine around. Highs today will be somewhat similar to yesterday with readings mainly in the 70s, maybe middle to upper 70s to lower to maybe middle 80s in our far southwestern counties. On Thursday, as we head into Thursday, we may see an isolated thunderstorm mainly in our western counties. The GFS has some over our northeastern counties. That would be more clouds than anything. Readings a bit warmer, upper 70s to middle 80s across the state with partly to mostly sunny skies. Then Thursday night into most of Friday, we could see showers and thunderstorms. Friday could be an all-day rain. We could, If we see any breaks, that could bump temperatures into the 80s. Otherwise, 70s will be more than likely on Friday. Saturday and even Sunday, we could see showers and thunderstorms around, but it doesn't look like an all-day rain. So readings will be bumped up back into the upper 70s to lower and middle 80s, both Saturday here and on Sunday with the risk of showers and thunderstorms about any time, better chances would likely be in the afternoon and evening and perhaps even into the overnight if we get a complex of storms to develop at that point. Then as we move into Monday, that storm is off to our east. Sunshine returns. Temperatures back down into the 70s to near 80 for highs on Monday as colder air comes in from the north. You can see that with that low pressure center over Hudson Bay dragging cold air straight from the north. It also brings another disturbance down from the north, and that could come in very late Monday night into the day Tuesday with more showers and thunderstorms possible. Tuesday could be rather brisk. Highs could be only in the 70s, maybe even some upper 60s possible. We'll have to wait and see. And even next Wednesday, you can see this big trough over the eastern, about two-thirds of the country. Upper level feature over James and Hudson Bay that's bringing the air down from the north. So next Wednesday will be mainly sunny, maybe some afternoon clouds, but it'll be very cool for this time of the year. Highs will be in the 70s, maybe lower and middle 70s at that, but we'll have to wait and see. Going into the extended period, July the 20th, we have a zonal flow, but a ridge trying to pump up over the area. Main storm track looks to be across the Canadian Prairie provinces at this point, with a little bit of a weakness around here that could bring some showers and storms in the plains if this is right. Readings would likely be near seasonal levels in the 80s if this is to be correct with southerly winds and some sunshine around. And then as we head to the end of the forecast here on July the 24th, now we have a big ridge over the four corners in Intermountain West and the Rockies. And a bit of a weakness around here as the flow is trying to build another trough in across the east. With that weakness around here, we could see some showers and storms around this area at this point. No real storm systems around, so this will be very disorganized at that. Readings would likely be in the 80s if this is to be correct. Satellite image from last evening, we had a frontal system moving across New England through the mid-Atlantic and then across the mid-south where they had lots of showers and storms around Arkansas into the middle, into mid-south and the monsoonal flow in the southwest. The watch warning map from last evening, you see those thunderstorms over the mid-south producing some flash flood warnings in western Tennessee into far northern Alabama and even Arkansas, flash flooding issues across the southwest and around the four corners, and some red flag warnings in the west where they're not going to see very much precipitation. This is through uh, Sunday evening at 7 o'clock. Precipitation around here could reach an inch. Some areas could get more. Some areas could get less. Heaviest will be across the southeast.